Hello everyone, my name is Ponce to and back with another edition of Ponce to Mayuri's personal best opinions on Pokemon. So this edition will be about Scyther, so the moves for Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal. First of all, Pursuit. Pursuit is a 40 power, 100 accuracy, dark, physical type attack, and pretty much it's not too bad of a move, but the effect is really nice. Um, pretty much when you use this against a Pokemon that's just about to switch out, um, this will not only attack them before they switch out, but it'll actually do double the damage, I'm pretty sure. If not, then it will attack them before they switch out, but maybe the double the damage thing, I'm pretty sure. But if not, then sorry, then you can read the effect. But I know it's that you attack them before they switch out, if they're trying to switch out. And then, of course, you know, they get switched out, and then, yeah, so. It'll be good for, like, finishing off Pokemon that you know are trying to escape, uh, given the name Pursuit, so it's pretty nice. And then Wing Attack. Wing Attack is a 60 power, 100 accuracy, physical flying type move. There's no special effect, it's just a pretty good move. A uh, pretty neutral flying type move, very common among the flying type Pokemon. And then Slash. Slash is a 70 power, 100 accuracy, physical, normal type move. And the special effect is normally there's a 1 in 16 chance to get a critical hit, but Slash makes it a 1 in 8 chance when you use Slash. It's like a 1 in 8 chance to get a critical hit, so it's pretty nice. And uh, it is quite very known to be a neutral uh, normal type move as well, so it's pretty nice. And then Swords Dance. Swords Dance is a status normal type move, 100% accuracy, and pretty much what you do uh, when you use this, well when you use this, uh, you just raise your attack by 2 each time. It'll say sharply, but that means by 2. So it's very good, so all these are physical attacks will power up all that, so very nice Swords Dance, very nice. And then for Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Red, and Leaf Green, the only thing different here is instead of Slash, you actually want Fury Cutter. Now, Fury Cutter is a 40 power, 90 accuracy, physical bug type move. And pretty much, yeah, this is a decent uh, bug type move. Not too bad, not too bad. But the really cool effect about this is every time you use this in a row and it lands, it'll get stronger each time by 10 power, I'm pretty sure. So if you keep stacking up, you'll eventually be doing massive damage with this thing if you keep hitting it in a row. So yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> And then for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. So the only thing different here is instead of uh, Pursuit, you actually want Double Hit. Now Double Hit is a 35 power, 90, I think it's 90 accuracy, it's either 90 or 95, but I'm pretty sure it's 90 accuracy. 90 accuracy, physical normal type move. And what's so good about this is just how it says in the name. I'm pretty sure it only hits up to two times, but maybe it can hit two to five. You'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure if it's called double hit, it only hits twice. But then again, there's a move called double slap, but it can hit more than twice, which that doesn't make any sense because it's called double slap. It should only be hit twice. I don't even know. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty good one because especially with, you know, you can set up and uh, break those sturdy abilities or the focus sash users to let them live in one health. You can just, like, avoid that because it hits multiple times, so it's very nice. And then for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the only thing different here is um, you'll notice that the moves are like a lot stronger. Um, the reason for that is actually because Scyther's ability, and there's no abilities in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, so I just made it the most uh, high power moves, the physical ones. So uh, you get Slash and we get Attack back, but also a new one, X Scissor. X Scissor is an 80 power, 100 accuracy, physical bug type move. And pretty much, I don't think there's any special effect. If there is, then there's the same effect as Slash 2x Scissor. But I don't think that is. I think it's just no effect. I think it's just, you know, powerful. So, yeah. And then the held item for Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Red, and Leaf Green. You want the Black Glasses. Now, this is a boost the power of Dark Time moves by 10%. So, it's mainly for that pursuit, of course. And then for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire. For offline, you want the Life Orb. Now, what the Life Orb does when a Pokemon holds this, the physical and special attacks from them get boosted by 30%, but every time you do damage, you'll be taking a bit of damage that you've done to your own health. So, you'll be doing a lot more damage with your attacks, but every attack that you use, you'll be taking damage as well. So, yeah. Then for online, the rule about online held items are, is when a held item gets used in an online battle, you get it right after the battle is done. So, it's very good for the items like Focus Sash, where one of the top tier items that are just you know, hard to grind for, so, uh, especially because they get used up after <laughs> their effect is used, um, then you would have to grind for another one, but with online, like I said, you don't have to worry about that, so, what the Focus Sash does, it's pretty much uh, makes it to when a Pokemon holds this in their full health, and they would have got one shot, they always live at one health, so it's very good to always be able to just 
you know, hopefully get at least one move off for each of your Pokemon if you have all these uh, on your Pokemon. The only reason why you wouldn't have this on a on a Pokemon online, obviously, if it's an older generation, or if it's just a generation that doesn't have Focus Sashes, or if they have a Mega Evolution. That's really the only reason why you shouldn't have a Focus Sash online. So anyways, as long as you don't miss your move, get paralyzed, frozen, asleep, flinched, confused, Infatuated, any of that. As long as you don't get any of that, you at least get one move off, and that can always make the difference. That can always make the difference. And then for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, uh, for online the same, it's the Focus Sash, but for offline it's the Buggy and EMZ. This is mainly just to, of course, boost the power of that Fear Gutter. And then there's no held items in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And then the ability. So I chose the other basic ability for Scyther, but I'll say the hidden ability first. So the hidden ability is. Wait, is this the hidden ability? No, I think this is one of the normal ability. Uh, I don't really... Okay, I'll say the other basic ability, because I don't remember what that hidden ability is. Um, anyway, so the other basic ability is Swarm. Now, Swarm, what this does, it pretty much says powers of bug-type moves in a pinch. And what a pinch means in Pokemon, it means if you're in red health, pretty much. So, when you're in red health and you use a bug-type move, it's going to be really boosted. I forget how boosted it is. But, um, you can look it up, but... I don't remember the hidden ability. What was the hidden ability for Scyther? I actually don't remember. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and put say the one that I, you know, think that's the best on Scyther. So, Technician. Technician, this was the ability that I was saying that the reason why I have weaker moves on Scyther... Um, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it, there was no abilities either, so I didn't make the moves weaker. But pretty much how Technician works... Is a Pokemon with Technician, when they use a uh, attacking move that has 60 or less power, it'll actually be boosted by 50%. So, yeah. That's why you see a lot of the moves with, uh, with Scyther. I have a uh, very sneaky, you know, 60 or under power, just so it gives that boost. Because, yeah, definitely worth it, for sure. But I just can't think of that hidden ability. I don't even... It's whatever it is. You can look it up if you want. But, obviously, I picked Technician. That's the one that I care about on Scyther. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the video, so if you enjoyed, if you'd be so kind to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, then feel free to. Link is in the description down below. But anyways, I've been your host, Paul Stamayoi, and goodbye.